Oh, the lovely scent. The hold is very soft, but with my hair growing out. Thank you COVID-19 for no salon visits for months now. I no longer have a short do that I try to defy gravity with. This holds my stray hairs in place as I now twist and clip my hair up. But really, there are lots of soft hold hairspray out there this one over others. Because of the scent. I'm 41. Which means I have been using this hairspray. I think for about 20 years now. Exclusively. I'm a sensory sensitive person. Scents that are too strong give me headaches and I cannot stand hairspray that makes your hair feel crunchy. Greasy. Or immovable. This hairspray is the only one I will ever use. I would have a panic attack if they discontinued it. I love the smell. It's light. And it's soft. But holds style reasonably well. Don't get me wrong. Tom Sandoval would never be satisfied using this hairspray for one second. You have to be a fan of Vanderpump rules to get this reference. But if you are you know exactly what I am talking about. I am a teacher. So modest income. And I think $30 plus for hairspray is kind of cray cray. But in this case. It's just worth it. It really is. Solid purchase. I have a dead straight hairstyle to my mid length blunt haircut. I don't want to wave or a frizz in my hair. I spray on a lot of this Aveda Brillant hair I spray it on the morning. I comb it in place and let the saturated hair dry. But I do not brush out when dry. In the heat and humidity of a New Jersey summer. And my long commute I keep the saturated look in my hair until I am at work. The when I am in the AC cooler air. And my head cools off. I brush it out. As a result my hair stays dead straight in UNFRZZY all summer day I. And everyone compliments me on the smell of my hair. I love the scent.